fit. In the connection screen, your call sign was AZUS. Yes, that's more of a reference to something else, but... I Well, how do you pronounce it, first Let's of push all? Push blue. Uh, AZUS is fine. That's a play off of Azurus, though, and that's meant to be a 40k thing, but... So you we know, have one heat and one law that it, it works out. Did the other person with the law put their law away? I mean, again, like, I'd recommend two or three single-shot disposables, but... Blitz, can you grab a law? Yep. Enough room. Oh, then grab an AT. Grab it. Grab an AT4. Right. How about I'm Watchman and you're Thief? Okay. Because you're, you're stealing an MI-25. It's very on the nose. What about, what about Rogue? Okay. No, we're, we've already been Rude. doing Rogue. Uh, what's another what's another fucking Rogue subclass in D&D? Swashbuckler. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, too many syllables. Yeah. Bre I mean, there were French forces with you, so you could be oh. croissant. 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 I'd rather be clarion. It's pronounced croissant. <laughs> yes, uh, it's assassin. So trickster. Like I like trickster. Yeah, we could do trickster. What are we trick or treating? All right, we're gonna finalize. God, this, I miss trick or treating. Something else out on my notepad. <laughs> you go up to strangers and get candy. Now every time I go up to a stranger, I get a freaking pulled into a van. Off? Yeah, I'll be um, watchman. Not dog. What the dog doing? I mean, dogs are better. You can have like a dog generator or something. Like, so I need to have a what? A name Amazon generator. Delivery guy. I mean, I do for like role play characters. I'm gonna start a new D and D campaign know, soon. For, for this, for this, like a call sign. Yeah. Name oh, I just let my chat choose, but then they come up with like the filthiest, horny names. Actually, no, Ian's on as a Twitch staff member, so he. he... The chat gets horny. a little more clean when he's around. Horny. Horny's <laughs> We toad. I mean, hey, I made, uh... Mario or Luigi. <laughs> Yo Yoshi. Look, all yeah, I can I made, say I is made. if I made Drum use, uh... <laughs> as a call sign a few ops go, that means anything's technically on the table, so... I had to specifically edit that out of the fucking video <laughs> when I made it. Damn. I was like, okay, I know I did it twice. Lear, you could be Miso. Like the soup? No, 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 <laughs> no. Steven, come on. No. All right, take yeah. your night vision off for the briefing so it doesn't break immersion in the side eye. Did we decide on a cold sign? Trickster and Watchman. Trickster and Watchman. Right. Take your night vision off for the briefing. Are you pumping him? I'm trying to cl climb on his head so that he can hear me. <laughs> All right. All right, gentlemen. It is the morning of the 10th of June, 1988. Gaddafi is having a clash between his country of Libya and the country of Chad. The Chadian forces have proven a bit more than a match for the Lydians, and. Gaddafi has ordered a retreat of his forces to reconstitute his lines. Now, in that retreat, a big chunk of his equipment is being left behind. Specifically, there is an MI-25, which is the export version of the Russian MI-24, that has been abandoned on an airfield. Gaddafi originally ordered his air force to hit it with airstrikes to deny the Chadian military from seizing it. However, they were unable to hit the target. So, how the actual event that carried out was he left it behind, American French forces went on the airfield and stole it. However, this is a what if scenario. Instead, Gaddafi has committed a company of his forces to move back and secure the MI 25, realizing it could be very important in his upcoming fighting. So far, about two platoons worth of infantry have set up a defensive perimeter around the Aeroporto Tasmara, which I will circle on the map. 
and that is where our prize lies. He also has the rest of the company force over at Aeroporto Kinsella International, and they are going to start the process of moving in forces, as well as bringing in a specialized pilot and co-pilot to fly the MI-25 out. However, that is still at least an hour and a half away. We have three different potential insert vectors, which you can choose from. Uh, once you are there, there will be two Land Rovers and a Land Rover with a 50 cal on top. And your job is to get to Airporto Tasmera and secure the site of the MI-25. Once it is secure, you will call me, Watchman, on 3-0 and state that it is secure. From there, this MH-47 will fly into the AO and it will land by the MI-25. From there, You'll have to interact with this MH-47 to deploy cargo ropes. You can do that uh, by out of character a scroll wheel option. Uh, set it for single cargo. This will then pick up the ropes, and then you'll have to walk up to the 25 and basically place the ropes on via attach. Once you do that, give me the green light, and the MH-47 will lift off with the MI-25 and then you can pull to a safe area and be extracted, either on the airfield or somewhere else if the airfield is too hot. Uh, a second MH-47 will be pulling you guys out. Did you say single, double, or triple cargo? Uh, single cargo. Single. Because you just need to attach one rope to it. One set of ropes. You're, yes. you're lifting one thing. The longer we stay in the AO, the more of the rest of the company will funnel in. Uh, it is mainly infantry forces, however, they do have some technicals, or excuse me, gun trucks, and a few pieces of armor. Uh, we know there is at least one piece of armor already on the airfield. More will be coming, however, there is a large ridge of mountains between the airports, which will make it so that armor can only come around from the south, and thus take much longer to get there. Uh, we also suspect that if Gaddafi feels that the MI-25 is actively being taken, he might dispatch air assets to try to destroy it in the form of a fast mover or two. However, uh, we believe that the airport might have some form of triple or double A, and you might be able to use that to shoot down any fast movers that try to destroy the MI-25. If at any point the MI-25 is destroyed, we will abort the mission and pull you guys out. Any questions? All right, well, uh, when you select your insert point, I will go ahead and get that set up and we will be using that to set things up and then we'll go fully in. This is late 80s, we are not using red dots. the exact position of this helicopter or is part of our job to to figure it out we know it is somewhere on the airfield since this is a grab of opportunity we haven't been able to do proper recon on the airfield just yet beyond uh, what we've been able to pick up on the radio but we don't know the exact position of the helicopter on the airfield all right We're gonna go to insert one and we'll take the VIX. I don't even know if we need to take the VIX, but we will, we'll stage them in case uh, we have to abort the mission or once the mission is complete. Are we jumping on the helicopter when it picks the other helicopter up or are we extracting ourselves? Uh, you are, there will be a second MH-47 to pick you up specifically. Uh, this helicopter that will be picking up the MI-25 is specifically outfitted to only be able to pick up the 25. Uh, because of weight restrictions, so you won't be able to board it. It's a cargo variant. Uh, 
All right. Uh, just in case shit goes tits up, we'll dismount. I'm excited for this one. Here, and we will move across. Oh, the Doritos, what are you painting? Here, I'm assuming, since this is the primary built up area on the airfield, that the helo will be somewhere around there, and this ridge line. Uh, it looks like there's rocks here, and there's a saddle here. Oh, what are you painting, Jamin? Uh, so, however, we can get in there. We will do so. So we'll just mark this as AP1. Uh, and make sure, I know he said it was going to take over an hour for reinforcements to come from the other airport, but make sure we're watching back to the west while we're pushing along this ridge line. We want to consider any uh, like defensive mines or anything like that along the road on the south. Uh, you carry whatever you want. Uh, we're not taking time to do that, though. Getting that shit set up is going to take way too long. I yeah, that. Okay. Any questions? Negative. All right. Okay. Let's mount up and roll out. I'm going to go ahead. Check three zero. Oh, that was a little loud. Let's go ahead and turn them down a touch. Honestly, I feel like this is going to be a 60 to 90 minute mission. I don't see how it could last a little longer, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, um, we don't need to grab him. Remove that on the show model. And again, verify that his damage is disabled, but also these four units need to have their damage disabled so they don't get sniped out. But yeah, in theory, we should be good. So yeah, I gave them a 50 cal to work with and then two Land Rover transports if they wanted them. Um, otherwise, again, it's because I could have anywhere from like... Ah, uh, four to 15 players show up. This one's about the six. So, you know, I, I try to balance them for the high end as well as the low end. So I'm going to go ahead and hide myself. And I'll put up another tower. I'll throw it over there so I can quickly then grab the show model and bring it in. And then I can put that puppy right there. I'll go ahead and delete that vehicle since they're out of view, and then we'll let them come in. I'm doing all right, Don. How are you? But yeah, I've got a... Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> he hit the wall. So I have a Google Doc that is over 100 pages long of various op requests and ideas and all this other crazy bullshit. So throughout the years, since I want to say I started recording or noting all those down around 2017, 2018... I have been trying to go through a bit more of it, I want to say, for the past six months. And I've been taking a lot of the one-off ideas I've randomly found on, like, YouTube videos and the algorithm and whatnot, where it's literally just, like, random YouTube links and a quick description of what it is. And I've just been, you know, trying to go through those and organize them on where to do them in certain communities that I'm working for. Uh, let me also set my time acceleration up, because these guys put up the server early. So, putting the time up to normal so that by the time they actually get to the MI-25, it'll be ready to go. Ruined my homemade lemonade by spiking it too strong. What did you spike it with? And Yoshi, how are you doing? Thanks for the 100 bits, buddy. Also, I didn't see what people were saying they were painting for their minis. Because I'm always curious what you do in the painting. Vodka? Fair. I'm actually going to be making an elderflower liqueur soon. I'm just waiting on a uh, bit of lemon peel, which I'm going to get from the store tomorrow. But I fell in love with, uh, I forget the brand, but someone brought it over like a week or two ago. Did you pick up a third member on Team 2? And I've decided to make my own. But Hello? I, I forget the yeah, terminology he's not for it. Team, but... so I don't know. Yes, you have picked up a third member on Team 2. Roger. It, it's really good stuff. 
So I've got a recipe that I vetted with a few others. And uh, I'm going to get that stewing for two weeks. And then I wrote it down, too. <laughs> I put it on a text document and I sent it to uh, Bloodwing as a backup copy. But the recipe was only for like 500 milliliters of vodka. But I bought two uh, 1.75 liter units of it. And I did the math to convert everything. But... Oh, I can't wait. Because the one you can buy is really good, but the one you can make yourself is even better because you can tailor it to your tastes. Two copies. Will I be coming to 40k nom this week? Uh, I will try. It was on my schedule. And I'll, uh, Dwarves, I'm also sorry for jumping the gun and announcing my op for this week because I thought it was this week. I just misread my own schedule. I didn't realize that that was my monthly actually fill in for the fifth. I thought that was one of my commission jobs. I'm like, oh shit. But. Uh, like, the mission file's ready, but I gotta send it to Neko, because Neko forgot to add a few additional things, so... We're gonna get that going, and just another grudge for the book? Yeah, alright. Doing fine. Glad to hear it, Yoshi. Glad to hear it. Anyway, Op's gonna be going in the morning by about 6, 6.30. It's gonna be full daylight. Check I just have my clear. light trickle on. Keep moving. To I do have RP1. a few random military bunkers here, but I opted not to use them, because they were a bit further out. And I wanted to simulate only having about two platoons worth of infantry on this field, which is it depends on the doctrine, but that can be anywhere from like 70 to 100 guys. And then a company is usually around 300, plus or minus 50, 75, even 100. So Send I'll have plenty of infantry six. QRF coming in no. from custom squads, which is, uh, I'm going to be honest, these are default Sarani infantry, with the exception of I changed a few of the AK gunners to some Fal gunners. Uh, because the player base here, Drums uh, Secret Squirrel 506, mentioned that they might bring some fouls in so they could loot in the field on those foul gunners, which are really just L1A1s, but that's just a pre main name. But now that I look at all of them, I realize that none of them are using fouls. It was like, damn, I did all that for nothing. Maybe okay, Stevens with that uh, M21 might the next hilltop. Let's get to the bottom. be able to use get the right same magazines, but yeah. Two has eyes and then I have well. some uh, they're looking lights like they're up there. But Yoshi thinks so too, and some as well, buddy. Hope you keep enjoying the opposite. Get a nice kick out of this scenario. Also, Yoshi, I think your bits last night... Here, let me toggle the deagle real quick. No, okay. So we're... You just gave a dollar, so we're at 60. So 15 more bits, or 15 more dollars, and we get the um, we get the next thing on the deagle, which I'm really excited for. And I know we're going to eventually get it because it's so close, and we still have, like, five days left on that damn thing. But we get a, we get a four-mission Stargate campaign, but German World War II, and I literally spent an ADHT-fueled trip... <laughs> at uh, 3 a.m., laying in bed next to Bloodwing, uh, literally looking at timelines of Stargate and wondering, all right, what if I introduced the Stargate in, like, 1939, saying that the Germans had somehow... Uh, they had also gotten the gate, and it wasn't blown away. I forget the exact reason why the Germans didn't have the gate. They had the DHD. They just had it boxed up. That's how the Russians got it after World War II. Um, but I forget why they didn't have the Stargate. But I'm excited because I literally wrote like a three or four part campaign, and each part has four Danger missions. Zero, three, five. We're so I'm trying to get that funded. Momentarily. Yep, they just got aggroed. Alright, so we're going to now pull... Guys, I was that patrol coming around, four down. Everything locally. Keep moving to AP1. And I could also set up a pod nose. It's just, now I gotta set up, let's set flares real quick. And a few thanks for the 900 bits, broski. I think that means we're only like $5 away. I always look after, uh, 
We're gonna fire some flares up real quick. Just waiting for that button to go white. Are we? No, 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 I just fired an HE, uh-oh. Oh. Uh, two, <laughs> took a small hit there, but two have men down. Zero, that wasn't supposed to happen. One stuck men down. And there we this go, Ian, uh, buddy. One is down. I appreciate it, man. They goddamn near fucking dropped that on their, in fact, if we hadn't just killed their dudes, they would have dropped that on their own guys. I'm moving Stuart to a safe place to treat him. I'm moving. Uh, why? Why Randy can't I up. fire the flare? Oh, I'm gonna get yelled at for that later. <laughs> it said it was set to flare. Come on. All right, here we're, we'll set to medium. There we go. All right, now it's set to the right one. Flashbacks to the Winter Warrior Eight night. Yeah, when I was randomly firing it. <laughs> Damn. I can't win, can I? But only one guy got wounded. They're working on him. But Ian, buddy, thanks for that, man. So Rainy and Stuart are hit. To your first priority once we get Ah, uh, I forgot about that stupid glitch. Water. It sounded like it was out to the southeast somewhere. Copy. But what can you do? Because, again, I was just trying to get flare mortar rounds up, and, of course, naturally, it's like, nope, we're going to play. Eliminate the entire player base. Channel your inner loot and mortar the players immediately. Ha <laughs> ha! Why not? I always feel bad when I do that, and it's like, well, it literally said it was flare. Fuck. I literally loaded flare rounds, and it still decided, ha <laughs> did you mean HE? And it's like, no! Why? Why do you hate me? But Ian, I appreciate it, man. You love Stargate too? I'm going to be honest, I love doing my Stargate Ops. Uh, I haven't done a Stargate Ops since Bog's birthday, which um, was a few months ago. And for her birthday, I made a, uh, a PMC mission that turned into, uh, oh shit, uh, a talk crash landed. And they were able to breach inside of it and uh, kill a bunch of Gwawul and have a lot of fun. I thought that was a really nice uh, birthday surprise. So. Worked out. I think everyone's back up. All right. I'll just have a good laugh with them about that mortar round, but... Um, this is you. I got eyes on one times mortar pit, uh, bearing yeah, 185 uh, single tube right now. And then before that, it was... Uh, eyes on helicopter bearing zero eight It was three well. missions of bearing Saddam and the Stargate, which was what if Saddam Take Hussein somehow got... And then move. Access to... I just got shot, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> I was going to put more flares up. Mortar's down. But that was, uh, what if Saddam somehow had the DHD in the damn, uh, Stargate, which, again, canonically made no sense. And then before that, it was a World War II what if, uh, somehow the U.S. had both the DHD and... Do you have eyes on the armor piece? The, uh, Stargate. And we did a nice three or four mission campaign on, uh, Henderson Airfield, but that was just our play for... Negative. Uh, there was some camelinating covering something up that uh, mortar pit about bearing 185 that was just a play for uh, the map itself. It had nothing to do with the actual World War II. I just wanted a cool map for it. That also, you know, included was included in the World War II mod. And then before that, we ran a few basic uh, Stargate missions. But these, this was like four or five years ago. And yeah, some of the Robo Saddam stuff was also pretty nice. But nah, this will be like a realistic, all right, what if scenario of, you know, something tied to the lore. And when, I'll, when I do the DevOps for it in a week or two, I'll uh, showcase everything I found. All right, now we're going to put pressure on him. I don't know why this guy is on permacrawl. I'm going to stand him up. And I'm just trying to make sure everything I have here is uh, properly set. And... It's hard because they put the server up early, so it's hard for me to gauge what time things have actually started. So I have to use my recording time uh, to time QRF in, but we'll set that. But yeah, no, um, those ops, the Stargate ones, will be publicly available in my Discord. Um, because it's World War II based, I'm probably not going to make it a tagged scenario, uh, tagged off, and said it's just going to be whoever shows up. I have no idea why this guy's shooting over there. 
I genuinely do not know why. This is two. I got eyes on what appears to be a military checkpoint bearing 180 uh, Valley floor. They're ignoring that. So that's Lamb's AI doing something. If I were to make a guess... I think they're shooting at this helicopter because it's set as green for. So they're taking shots at what they believe is an enemy target because green four and op four, I think by default on 506 files are set to hostile. One check in. Is drum somehow down? No, he's not. Contact. But yeah, um, the loose part of the first part the saddle, tree it looks all the way, like, uh, all the for way that down. campaign yeah. is uh, uh, sorry trying to pull names out of my head there was a temple priestess that worked under Ra who was executed I think that was a mispin by him. Uh, who was executed because they, they were trying this to aid humanity a bit. But if we time the campaign right, we can have the Germans arrive before she was executed and start making a pact before the person under that this priestess ends up betraying her because she's truly lo ro uh, loyal to Ron instead. And what I'm also thinking about is switching up the campaign and having some actual World War II missions where with some enhanced technology it turns the tide and blah blah blah. So, you know. Hey Mr. Dell, I appreciate it, buddy. It's not till 2025. Uh, we have a lot to still do and plan, but... That'll be in a few months when we actually get the whole process down. But yeah, I proposed to her. She said yes. Then she wanted to finish her master's because she was only like halfway through it. Two, and then... Now that that's done, we're taking a few months off just to kind of enjoy ourselves, and then we're going to start doubling down on the wedding planet. They blew up a fuel drum over there. That's nice. All right. Roger, we got good rock cover up here. just hold for the moment. I'm going to move myself around because the reason they're starting to hear, uh, sound staticky is because they're over a mountain. So if I put myself on an adjacent hill, it should be fine. Uh, I'll check them after the op dwarves. I don't like to I'll look at Discord while I'm working down. unless I have to be on there for a specific reason. So somehow these guys drove their car into the river. Great. Classic Gaddafi moment. So I do have a T-55 in a bunker right here, and it is active. One it appears to be bulletproof, uh, or they just can't see shit through it. Mortar system break. One guy uh, entered it. Uh, no eyes on this time. Camo net was invincible. We're gonna take care of this contact and break out of here to that bunker position. These guys have a massive amount of enemies coming behind them because those forces finally swung around. Clement just got hit. This isn't good. Half of the team is up here on their own. This is not an ideal situation. You don't want the player base to be separated in parts like these. And now these guys are under a very strenuous part. And they're getting encircled. Woods just got taken out. And Stevens just got taken out. That was no bueno. That was incredibly no bueno. Wait. 
I miss him. I miss him, put it. What? Should check in. I. I hit the wrong button. I hit the ROM button. Okay. He's abducted me. You know, they really need to not put the cut the ties button with the escort prisoner button in the same area. Okay, how are we going to... Oh. Well, so much for taking them captive. We have to go back up to two's position. They're not responding on comms. Team two, see if you can start pushing up there now. Listen, break, break, break. This is two. We're going to up on comms. We uh, got walked up on hard. Don't you... You can say you love it or hate it, but when I make a mistake and they break free, isn't that just the weirdest thing? The Zeus is not supposed to make mistakes, and yet, here we are. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. That's funny. It's rare when I make a mistake, but of course when I do... That happens. Someone just got shot and they're pulling them in. But now that they're force split... I got all this weird stuff now to work with. Yeah, we, we can just tie it to the plot. I mean, that's that's what we this do as Zeus, is if we screw up, we just go, it's okay. It, it was supposed to happen that way. But yeah, so now I got a nice Stargate campaign to work on. And we got a few other fun things to do, so. We'll be doing a lot of mission dev tonight. I'm just going to go watch that new Fallout show and see what happens. So I, see, <coughs> I saw something smoking in here. <coughs> Looks like one of the AGSs was disabled there. That vehicle was just hit. We got another one coming in. And I've got some forces slowly coming around. That three-man group is... I honestly don't know what it's doing, but... I'm going to start bringing my QRF in. We're going to start with two reconnaissance squads. Timing-wise... We still have a good chunk of time, so I don't even have to think about things for now. Nope. One, this is two, check in. So Franklin's down, these guys got suppressed in the corner, so I'd imagine the gun penned and did a bit of damage. It's in traffic! Radio check, three zero. Send it. Was making sure you are alive, you didn't respond the first time. Yeah, they're alive. For now. Three-man groups, the wild card. Yeah! They'll get a nice Overwatch position to work with right here and help uh, free up the group. It's just that T-55's a problem. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start breaking off the garrison forces. Now, if this was the real world, Gaddafi's infantry would start running for the damn hills as soon as contact really started, but, you know, this is a video game. Therefore, I'll pull some stuff in. Is this tank dumb? Nuts, it's dumb. Sometimes you just gotta RC it to reactivate it. Here comes my tank. Yep, so it reinitialized. And they're fighting their way to uh, that position. QRF's going to be coming in. It's going to be slow. AT just hit the tank. I'll bail the crew out. 
you are completely out of place. What the hell are you supposed to be? What? Why is there a pirate driver in my tank? What? <laughs> He's some random African uh, gorilla that they picked up. Uh, random Somalian pirate. Don't ask why he's up here. It's just, uh, just how it is. Yar har. That's funny. The exchange program. Well, he just got shot to shit. Ah, oh, yes, you are a pirate. This is one copy. We're still dealing with guys up on these hillsides. About bearing 300, we're having trouble locating them. I just wanted to delete those barrels so they wouldn't be laggy. It should have been out of his line of sight anyway. I'm debating also having some QRF. I saw that little military position down there. So if we just like reform like a squad's worth of dudes, then theoretically I should be able to, you know, push something up here. And you know what? Let's do a, let's do a two for one special. But yeah, I mean, in terms of my work and whatnot, my arm is mostly ready to go. It just needs like another day or two and it'll be perfect. Uh, for me to get full rotation back on, it's probably gonna be another week and then to actually put proper weight on it again, it's gonna be another few weeks. But the moral of the story is don't fall backwards while ice skating. And if you fall, know how to fall properly. Look at that target acquisition right to left. Look at him just drop everything in his path. This and is perfect GL placement. My now. God. We're dealing with them for the moment. That bro knows how to work his AK. That's for damn sure. One, this is two. Do you want us to maintain an Overwatch position or push down maybe towards the uh, control tower? The control tower does not exist anymore, so I don't know what you mean. Oh, Roger. I didn't realize that. Oh, uh, it got blown up? What blew it up? What happened to my control tower? Alright, two, this is one, or correction, one, this is two. We're gonna push down to the vehicles and uh, cross the airfield, trying to get a better uh, angle on this hill. Fully torqued AK. Man, AKs have a shit ton of recoil. That's another great GL placement. Good God. Oh wait, no, it's drum over there. Of course he can. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock this just in case someone gets a really funny idea. Don't get me wrong, it would be a funny idea, but Yeah, F it. I'm up for being entertained today. It's doing better, Zero. I just talked about it. It um, just needs another day or two before I can start really going fully into work again. Um, in terms of having full functionality on, it's probably going to be another week. I can put a little bit of weight on it. I can't really turn the wrist, but I can at least bend my arm Northernmost most of the clear. positions I needed to and you know, for work. It's just putting weight on it's really tough. Be advised, two's going to utilize AGS and pepper that hill. Holy shit, someone left the keys in it. How do you know they're over there? That's amazing. You, uh... Go. 
Huh. You didn't have to do that. But you chose to. Okay. <laughs> Too many enemy yeah, weapons. they blew it up. I told him demo is optional if you want to, but you won't really need to, but... Sure, buddy, go for it. Nah, Broadshore, ice skating's a bitch. Oh, yeah, Hellfire did, um... You know, they, they finally did a really good job. Uh, the, the first mission they did really well on, the fourth mission they did really well on, the other two missions they, uh... They kept wiping. Again and again. <laughs> Zin, thank you. You are too, buddy. I know you've been around a while. Alright, so I got some forces engaging from afar. Go ahead and delete some bodies that are far as well. Hey, look, there's the retreating I know and love. <laughs> Righto, Yoshi. I'm sure Ian also likes you spending bits because he works for Twitch and that's how they pay him. <laughs> but I appreciate it nonetheless, buddy. I forget what our next goal after the uh, after the Stargate project is. I think it's just more ops for uh, additional communities. And then one of them is uh, like a random conquistador op. To do something with improved melee and uh, conquistadors, because I don't know. I wanted to put a funny meme idea at There's the end. There's a machine gun somewhere on the southern end of the airfield. Oh, two copies. We're also being engaged still from the hills west and south. They're swimming for it. So I do want to constantly have them under pressure. MG's down. Second hangar is clear. We're about to move on the third hangar. As we continue, these will start turning into three squads and then four squads. They still have uh, about eight minutes before I start doing three squads instead. Until we hit a company, in which case I... But anyways, then, good luck, man. Aw, oh, man, let me see if it's still on my computer. Ah, uh, yep, I have a dead pixel, like, right here, and it, it's not noticeable, but it makes me sad. They towed it out so they could use the AGS. That's funny. They're just GLing everyone in here, poor bastards. I'm going to increase my timetable a little bit. Just because at this rate, like I said, it's going to be a 60 to 90 minute op, but I want there to be a little bit more pressure. Just a little. And then I want these ready to go. I'm going to put a pair of them out. Uh, but I've got multiple iglas on the ground around here, so. Plus, there were some AA trucks in here, so they can use those as well. Get him, Mr. Handgunner! Holy crap. Holy crap! Oh! What was it? Oh! 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 
my god! Dude, what's your status? That pistol was loaded. Was a handgun. All right, I think I'm gonna debut them early. Does the Sarani faction? They have helicopter. I mean, that's I guess that's the best we're gonna get. But again, there's like four dead Eagle Gunners around, and then there's some AAA trucks in there. Gaddafi's Air Force! Twenty-threes. Siemens is on the mortar. He might try to use that. too close, that's why. Oh my god. That was him. Oh god. Yeah, there's the meat grinder. I think the earliest use of, uh, oh, he's getting engaged. The earliest use of, uh, AA guns on infantry I saw was World War II. <laughs> a scene from a certain movie, I just forget it. Oh, Stevens just got hit by, I think, an airstrike. Oh, Clements is also down. A lot of people are down. slow the spawns down on infantry to give them a posi uh, potential to break through. Oh! Just getting hit with the front. Uh-oh.
I was worried about the rocket pod use. That's what really worried me. Something I can do. Uh, I'm hidden. One second. The airstrike cleaned a lot of them up. That's the issue. Usually, back in the day, we had a toggle uncon option. If I understand their medical correctly, though, I can CPR um, and force a wake up. This is too actual backup. Oh. This is too actual backup. Two got hit by rocket run. I got everyone down. Because I don't feel like dealing with reinserts, you know? if I get CPR on him. Roger. Oh, I think just got shot again. Myself with that now, okay. to do the following. I'm going to start bringing up more QRF. That group, I'm going to say... If they're going to use AAA, they got to wait for them to come a bit closer. Well, they need to clear the area, and there's no way they can get friendly air in the AO if they... Uh, if they don't deal with the plane. So if one gets taken out, I'll go ahead and wave off the other. Or 
it can get destroyed. I was gonna try to move it, but that works. down in this spot too. I feel like Franklin needs to move because that's where they keep getting hit on. Yeah, they're just guessing at this point. I can hear the stress in his voice. All right. Well, that part's taken care of. Now it's just gonna be on them to call me in to get the uh, get the helicopter going. That was stressful. say that. I said they needed a... Did I say they needed to completely clear it? I might have. I might also be gaslighting myself. I don't know. Regardless, we'll take care of that final wave. We'll let them call the bird in, and then we'll get things out of here again. Uh, they're stealing the MI-24. also do in the meantime is pull everything back and order a back rally. Now whether or not they'll follow it is anyone's guess. Even when I group AI in the map. Also, landing it's going to be a bit difficult, but it should work, in theory. I even tested it server side. But you know how this shit is. It's just difficult because we see people going off on their own like that. And the difficulty here is what if he gets headshot, in which case there's not much I'm going to be able to do. Hey, Spooky, how you doing? You're tired? Me too, buddy. Me too. This is Watchman on 30. Send message over. Be advised, we've got the contact here down enough that I think we're ready to do a hot extract and exfil break. There are three times hangers on the airfield break. The helicopter in question is on the south side of the southern hangar. Over. Trickster, this is Watchman reading back break. Three hangers on the airfield. Package is on the southern side of the southernmost hangar. How copy? This is Trickster. That's affirmative. Trickster, this is Watchman. Solid copy. Break. 
We'll relay information to the pilot and get him to land by the package so we can get it hooked up and towed out of here. Over. Roger, out. Because again, if he calls me, I think this he's supposed two. to be going to out. Stop these clear these bunkers. They were not cleared. Roger. But now I can bring in another wave. And I need to make sure there's no RPGs because otherwise you'll get some crazy gunslinger that'll be able to snipe a helicopter and well that'll just derail the entire operation we can't really have that now can we I'm also going to lessen the AI load a little bit based off of how separated all forces are and this is where I'm going to have to come in and fly this thing manually because I need to specifically land him by the 24. Now, did it take a rocket hit? Yes. Is it miraculously still intact? Also, yes. Don't worry about it. Okay? It just works. Hey, peeps. How you doing, buddy? Feed pigs and sausage. <laughs> of course. Of course that would bring you in. How are you, man? Uh, we're about, I want to say, 20 or 30 minutes till the end of this RPG. mission. I keep seeing your notifications, but of course, every time I see one, I'm busy doing LC something. Mark white smoke. Let's go ahead and get him in. What if I want to make sure it's known that it's still up after a rocket barrage? Yeah. No, oh, come on. Fancy flying time. You have to attach it the other way. Contacts west of two's position, top of the ridge, two's position. Kilo's already hooked up, tell him he can fucking take off. I. You, you have to. Warning, fuel pressure critical. Pilot, you guys good? I think you hooked up Warning. the chopper pressure, to us. Critical. You have to hook up our chopper to it. Copy. Warning, fuel pressure critical. Warning, fuel pressure critical. Yeah, because that was making me leak fuel. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah, they hooked it up to my gas tank and I started hemorrhaging. Because also it cuts my engine if they hook me up to it. We good? Infantry 276 up slope from uh, two's position. Watchdog on 3 0, message over. This is Trichter sent traffic. Be advised, package is away. I say again, package is away. Do you require extract at your current position or at a secondary position? Over. Uh, we'll take it right now. Thank you. Over. 
Roger. Uh, second MH-47 being deployed, ETA about three mics, over. All right. Uh, do do do. I'll go ahead, get rid of the two gunners so they can take those themselves. And then set everything to invincible again, just in case. And we'll land them at the same LZ. But I was testing this earlier to make sure this would tow properly, because you never want something to break. And then you're like, well, how the hell do I fix it? Especially when it comes to Drumheller's immersion. But again, this was a play off of the 1988 Gaddafi MI-25 heist. I just added some more units to shoot at, because the real one didn't have any contact. It worked, nothing exploded. Viewers rejoice. <laughs> uh, yeah, peeps, I can call you after this. Um, just you coming back in with Vix towards the hangars. Will it take no You're longer than 10 minutes? Because I owe Bloodwing a bit of time. Because uh, we're going to watch hangers. the new Fallout show. If not, I'm free tomorrow. But if you're free, bro, we can we can definitely have a talk. It's okay. I make the same excuse when Spooky go <laughs> goes live. That's fair. I've had my uh, right arm sprained all week, though. So my productivity has been very tough. <laughs> but I get you, man. I get you. Sorry, I had to focus on making sure that uh, helicopter was being taken. But yeah, no, this will definitely be uh, a shorter up tonight, anyhow. We didn't get to the hour 15 mark, though. Otherwise, I would have started. Actually, we were close to the hour 15 mark. That was another seven minutes. I would have put two T-55s to come around. Well, we were close. Make sure he's sent properly. But there's always something majestic about watching an uh, MI6 or a uh, CH-47 towing an MI-24. I don't know. I just enjoy it. You know, we just don't have the sandstorm for that uh, helicopter to fly through, but that's okay. Did you, did you really just un-RC yourself? Someone in there needs to do it. I can't do it from the, from that seat. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, uh, give me like five minutes and we'll, we'll be on that call. don't know if uh, this will translate. I'm burning time, but hold on. <laughs> the Lenny face didn't work. All right, whatever. Good enough. Four zero four Marshall one seven zero twenty three. Hope you guys had fun. Were you trying to get us to call for the bird before or while it was still super hot? Um, no, it was up to you. I, I wasn't going to call a bird. Oh, I killed two camouflage nets. Get fucked. <laughs>
Imagine trying to capture three dudes and the first guy you grab, you accidentally, because they're right next to each other, you free him instead, and he just kind of looks at you. I look at him before I can pull the trigger, he mag dumps me. Because <laughs> two was up on the hill when uh, all the forces came in, but I think my biggest mistake was loading a flare round into the mortar. It said flare. I hit the button to fire the flare over you, and then it says HE. I'm like, that's not mm. that's not what it just was. Mm. Sir. Is that the very first round? Yes. <clears throat> I that saw that fucker round. come in. I yeah. saw it on my screen just before it impacted. I there's always a glitch where sometimes even though you set it to flare and you manually reload it to flare, it still fires an HE round, even though you not only switch the drop down, but you also before you go into the RD computer, change it to flare and reload it to flare, just for whatever reason we'll switch it back to HE for that first <laughs> round. How did you get it to fire again? Because I was on short. I had ammo selected. I couldn't get this thing to fire. Uh, I At first, you guys were out of range, like in range. Then when you moved closer, I had to switch it to medium range. And then I was able to drop it on you guys. Um, it just took longer for the rounds to come in. For the flare ones, at least. The HE one, it let me let a rip on that. But mm. Oh, well. I hope you enjoyed watching the 24 takeoff. There was, um, there's a way to remove the rotors on the helicopters. Um, I thought if I set the damage to the main rotor to 100, it would remove it automatically, because if you hit a tree, it does it, but it's only if you hit the tree, and there's no way for me to then recreate that without it, like, spinning up and immediately killing itself, which would break immersion, but, well, you know. I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna hit the rotors with the rotors, so. Yeah, well, it came close. Real lucky, real lucky that, that CH-47 is about four feet taller than the yeah. MI-24. <laughs> well, I tested it, because even if you set a vehicle to invincible, the rotors will still break, because it's scripted. So... I had to fancy. That's why I was like jerking the thing around and trying to land next to it perfectly. Because if I missed it, yeah, I well, would. I would have broken the whole it. Thing is, I was like, this is a terrible spot to try to get a CH forty seven to land. And then I was like, but he's the one who created the fucking mission. So hopefully he tested it. I try to. I mean, I made this mission with one hand because my right arm screwed. That so means you were I... flying with one hand too. Well, my my right arm's a bit better now, but in testing, I was testing it with one hand, and it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I was doing my training on Monday for 1-4 with one hand. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have to run to a meeting. I will see you guys next week, I believe. But I very, hope you enjoyed the mission. Very proud of you, Sergeant Liru. Thank you. Sergeant Lance, is it Sergeant Lance Corporal Sergeant Liru? Lance Corporal. Or Lance Corporal Sergeant <laughs> Liru? It's Lance Corporal Sergeant, according to your own rules, where the lower rank goes first. Oh, okay. That's funny. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Hope you had fun. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go operate operationally. I got to go jump onto a, a meeting, I guess, and then watch the Fallout show and hopefully not be disappointed. Have a good one, guys. Oh, right, and shout out to Ian and... Sorry, I'm horrible with names. Ian, Yoshi, and... Because even though he did it after the Phantom of Jig. Uh, and uh, Diffuse for getting the D-goal up so we could... We can now work on the Stargate ops. Yay! <laughs>